Hey there Zanies and welcome to New Game Thursday. That's right you guys, I'm switching it up on you. You all know I'm very data driven and unfortunately there's just not enough traffic on Tuesdays here on the channel to keep on going with New Game Tuesday. So instead I'm moving everything on over to the end of the week starting with Thursdays. Thursdays will be New Game Thursdays and everything else thereafter for Friday, Saturday and Sunday will all be based around ERLC or any other police role playing games. This week I'm going to treat us a little bit to Emergency Hamburg. Take a look at this game you guys. It surprisingly has quite a bit of traffic and if you read the description here, Emergency Hamburg is an emergency services role playing game where you can be a police officer, citizen, car mechanic, truck driver, firefighter, medic, or a criminal in the German city of Hamburg. And I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, so I'm sorry. I mean, if we tally all of this up, does this kind of sound familiar? Let's jump in and check it out. First time loading in here, I'm already being awarded with some badges, which is always great to see. We're going to play the game, and oh my, are you glitching out, sir? You are not. All right. So all of this looks very familiar. I think a lot of the games sort of start the same way, and oh my goodness. They have a G-Wagon. By the way, you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but a G-Wagon, I, I love my trucks. But if I can ever get my hands on a G-Wagon, oh my goodness, like that is my dream vehicle, you guys. So let's see here, let's see how much a G-Wagon is here, sort of just live through the life of my Roblox character, and can I buy it? Nope, I don't, I cannot buy it. I don't have nearly enough Euros. Alright, so what do I have enough Euros for? Here we go, a Volkswagen Passat. Great, great, great. We're gonna exit, and I like the way my little character runs in the game, he kind of sort of runs with a purpose, doesn't he? All right, so we are in the passenger side now. We are going to press N to start the vehicle, and off we go, it seems like. The thing about this game, though, is that everything is in metric. So, obviously, being from the U.S., being used to the Imperial system, I don't know how fast I'm going. Like, how many kilometers per hour is that? Oh, and of course, a famous European roundabout, which is interesting because I'm starting to see a lot more of those all throughout my city here in California. And I think I see a police officer up ahead. Let me try to kind of sort of speed by him, see what he does. Oh no! Oh no! And he's not really doing much of anything. I don't think he, he really cared. How do I become a police officer? To become a police officer, you have to drive to the police station and start your shift there. You can use your phone's Waypoints app to find it. Okay, I kind of like that. So let's go to Waypoint, and we're going to go to the police station. And have I set a waypoint to the police station? I don't see a waypoint anywhere. Oh, I see it. It's back there. You guys see that green little drop in? All right, I see it. So let's get out of here and let's go check it out. Walking inside to assume a police shift and I'm going to be nothing more than a police officer. And oh my goodness, there is quite a bit here. Really the most important thing, which I actually kind of like. Look at the conduct points. You will start your shift with 100 CP. You will lose CP or conduct points for doing illegal things. Example, arresting innocent players. The more CP you have, the more you will get of your collected XP. You will be fired when you lose all CP. That is pretty darn awesome, you guys. I've always said that there's got to be a way to hold police officers accountable because we've all played with those guys that just do whatever they want when they are a police officer. They run red light, they don't follow the traffic pattern, they drive around with their lights on constantly. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, so this is definitely great to see. As with the civilian team, I can't really afford much else other than the Volkswagen Passat. So we are gonna spawn that vehicle and off we go. Where is my Passat? Here we go. All right, off we go on patrol though, and I think I see a civilian up here, sort of just stopped in the middle of the street. What are you doing, bro? All right, I'm going to come around your way. Please stay there, sir. What's going on, sir? Why are you stopped there, sir? He's not answering, but he kind of just went to my vehicle, I believe. I think he may have. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe he left the game? I think he's back there somewhere. All right, so with nothing to do here, I think that player may have left. This gentleman is sort of just walking aimlessly here. 
Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I'm going to arrest you. No, 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 no. We're resisting. We're resisting. And can I arrest this guy? Nope, I cannot. What about this guy? Can I arrest him? Yes, I can. And I'm not sure why I arrested him, but I did. And he's going to go in the passenger. And now what? Do I take him to jail? Well, I'm right across the street from the police station. Sir, you are under arrest for no good reason whatsoever. I will be honest. Meetings, lockers, nope. What about jail? Where is the actual jail? Prison, maybe? This is like interrogation rooms. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Hello, sir. Are you going to talk to me? Okay, so you don't want to talk. I get it. What if I shine this light in your face? No? Still nothing? Okay. Well, I do not think this guy is going to talk. So maybe if I just uh, arrest him again? And I really wish I knew a way to maybe just send him off to jail. How do I let you go? I really don't care to arrest you anymore. There you go. Get out of here, man. As I'm getting ready to go try a different job, you guys, something that I really like that this game does is as soon as I quit my job as a police officer, it immediately spawned my regular vehicle back into play, which is really cool. That means that I don't have to drive anywhere else. I don't have to drive to a different spawn or walk my way there like you sometimes do in ERLC or even completely reset your character to make sure you're back at a point to where you can get a vehicle. Very cool idea there, I really like it. Now I'm gonna head on over and try one more job before I give my final verdict on this game. At the fire station now, we are gonna be part of the fire department. And same thing here, you get conduct points, you got experience points, you got a multiplier and everything else there in between. So very neat to see, vehicle dealership, maybe just a basic one, right? Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna get sort of a basic one here. Okay. And immediately we are getting a dispatch, a container fire broke out at the harbor, a waypoint at that location has been set. All right. And I think I see the little sort of siren emblem there. You guys see that? Over to my left here. I'm trying to catch it. Ah, there you go. I hope you guys get it. Hold on. I got to turn on my lights before I get pulled over. That green alarm symbol must have been something else because now I am being shown a red sort of uh, like a beacon whatever that is off to my right so i'm gonna drive to that one first and then if that's not anything then i'll drive to the green one at the icon now and i'm not seeing a fire but is there equipment we can grab i don't see any equipment we can grab nope it's not giving me any options so what, what do i have just uh nothing did i miss something i must have missed something right can i go inside like what? What is happening? Nope. Can't go inside, I don't think. But now I'm kind of sort of stuck here. Yeah, my character is stuck. And quite literally, you guys, my character is sort of stuck here. I can't really do much of anything. Oh, there was a jump. But I can't move. I can't exit. And oh, okay, whatever. It is what it is. So I'm going to wrap it up here, you guys. So quick review of this game. The idea is definitely there. But I mean, the idea is not necessarily an original one. We see a ton of law enforcement games all throughout Roblox. What I do like though is that they've sort of thought of systems to kind of control the roleplay and mitigate anyone trying to come in here and sort of just abuse the system. I do think that that demerit system they sort of got going on. As you guys can see in the upper right hand corner, I do have an infraction for speeding while not having my sirens on even as a firefighter which is a great idea this definitely helps control and encourage the role play but because my character is stuck the vehicle mechanics are just not there you guys i am running into things i quite literally am crashing every five to ten seconds to the point where it's not even enjoyable with all of this in mind you guys if i had to rank this game right now on a scale of one to ten i would probably give it a five maybe a six if i were feeling generous but as i said the idea is there the teams are there i mean everything is there the environment is awesome i sort of like the way they've set everything up but the mechanics are just not doing it for me Something is definitely missing from this game, but I don't know what that is. All right, you guys. Well, let me know if you guys have tried this game before. Definitely worth checking out if you guys have a few minutes on your hands. But for now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, long live the zanies.